I'm Aquin. I'm Jackie Bestwit. I'm Pashmina Bako. Hi, my name is Elixir Nahar. I'm Devika Krishnamurti. My name is Shahwar Ali. My name is Georgia. Hi, I'm uh, Smita Rao. Hi, I'm Ari Dabas. I'm Nikila Nandgopal. Hi, I'm Archana. I'm Namaste. From Miss India 2012 and uh, uh, I'm here for Karnataka Fashion Week. I'm excited to be at the Karnataka Fashion Week. Bangalore is a beautiful city. And I'm super excited to be here at Karnataka Fashion Week. Karnataka Fashion Week was started with a very definitive purpose. You see, the South is somehow ignored in terms of the larger national fashion scene and there are no really very big designers on the level of a Tarun Tehliani, a Rohit Bhan, an Abraham and Thakur or a Manish Malhotra coming out of Bangalore. While many of them are very talented, they've not had the necessary push or the PR to take them to the next national level. That was one of the primary reasons for creating this platform to showcase Bangalorean and Karnataka talent and to try and take it to a mass-based audience and to make them very popular, you know. Bangalore is going to be positioned as India's main conduit as such to the West, to the Southeast, to China, to markets in America. And I think that we are going to be able to achieve a lot of very significant export with this project too. at promoting the textiles and handlooms of Karnataka and that is how we've structured our three days. So day one looks at uh, concentrating on khadi and handlooms, day two is into uh, bridal wear, and day three is uh, global prep. So that's the day when we have a couple of brands showcasing as well and uh, we have a few international designers as well. Of course we have uh, two international designers, we have the great BB Russell from Bangladesh and we have Sonali coming from all the way from Sri Lanka and to showcase all these beautiful clothes from all these beautiful designers we have 45 top models uh, all, all over from India and some international ones also will be showcasing the clothes and walking the ramp throughout the three days. Uh, another important uh, thing I would like to mention here is thanks to our sponsors I mean without them of course uh, this wouldn't be possible. I'm really excited and this is going to be the big one, Karnataka Fashion Week, a show I've been waiting for all my life. See you later. I'm very happy and I'm very pleased that Prasad Bidapa is having this Karnataka Fashion Week because a lot of people don't know Bangalore and Karnataka is the largest exporter of uh, garments industry to the world and manufacturer. So uh, this is a perfect fit of fashion industry with the garment manufacturing. So I think it's a great first step and I'm hoping maybe in the three years time we'll have the fashion scene in place and the world fashion industry will come to the doorsteps of Bangalore. I'm extremely happy and proud about this Karnataka Fashion Week because we have a tremendous fashion presence in this city and I think it's wonderful to show it. Nobody has really done that before but I think Prasad is fantastic for this first time great thing. I'm very proud and I'm very happy for him. In this fashion industry I have seen a lot of people 
I have met a lot of people, but as far as uh, Prashad is concerned, he is my favorite. You should look out for a collection from my heart. Uh, it's dedicated to the modern woman who travels, who understands fashion, and uh, more importantly, understands texture uh, and deep rootedness. Prasad is a fabulous man. I think um, uh, in Bangalore, all of us are really lucky to have someone like him because he tends to bring everything together and he, he has that charm and the persona that he's able to do this over and over again. What more could a city like Bangalore ask for? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pavitra Mudaya. I've done a lot of revival of old designs that have been lost. So I do a lot of documentation and train weavers so that the next generation can have these textiles for themselves, you know, and it won't be lost. This is the first time I've agreed for a fashion show, although I've known him for so many years. And I think what he's done for the fashion industry of India is just fabulous. The Karnataka Fashion Week with uh, relationship to Bangalore is definitely going to put Karnataka or even Bangalore on the global map because what I think is a lot of uh, designers even globally look at India for crafts and tradition but as you know new upcoming designers we would also like to do something which is creative and which would probably put us on a more global scale so this is definitely what's going to help us with. My collection is called Celestial Lights. Uh, it's all about dreams, ab about reaching for the skies, and I think that's where we need to take the Karnataka Fashion Week and uh, Bangalore as the fashion capital in India. Prasad is on a mission, actually. Uh, he is not only a you know, guru in his field, but also a social activist. I think Prasad has always has had his roots with concern with Bangalore and Karnataka. I think it's a great initiative and I think he's going to do a fantastic job with it. In Karnataka, we're all very proud of, of what we do and, and what we have. There's uh, plenty of silk and, and so much more. I mean, I'm obviously not a fashion guru, but I know Prasad knows his beans. And uh, just to be involved with him, uh, to have him as a friend and to see how much he has dedicated of himself to bringing fashionistas out, to bringing uh, young uh, fashion designers out as well, giving them an opportunity is huge and I think he's doing a fantastic job. It's wonderful to see Sri Lanka making its presence felt at the Karnataka Fashion Week, one of the most important fashion events in India. I know Prasad Bidapa from Colombo Fashion Week and it's great to see him promoting one of our very own Sri Lankan designers, Sonali Dharmavardhana. Prasad is a big name in Colombo. He's so much a part of our fashion scene now. We forget that he's Indian. He's almost a part of Colombo. The support of Kumar and his wife Behali we are looking at launching a collection of saris which are unique in uh, India. So we thought it would be a good launch pad to introduce the saris along with the resort wear collection. Karnataka Fashion Week, having Prashad arranging it, the local people are very lucky because he's the fashion guru for uh, India, no? So he can train the model and at the same time he has such a 
sharp eyes and he knows how to mix it together with the music and light. His team is excellent. So I think that with Prashad behind it and the government also supporting it, it should go step by step there.